Mark Bowden here. What I wanted to do is to do a quick video for you. And, and if you like these, I'll do some more. But it's really about what can uh, the history of art tell us about how you might set up your home studio? What are the principles that we've known for really millennia around how human beings like a visual image to be that we can cheaply do for zero in our own home studio and make them look good? Let's start off with what can the Dutch masters tell us uh, about how to set this up? First of all, perspective and the vanishing point. Notice these things, these lines uh, here and up there. They're reaching a vanishing point, which is probably, I don't know, round about here. Uh, I'll maybe do a still image and I'll show you that. Which means that these bring your eye into here. Many people would go, well, why aren't you in the center of the screen? Um, because this is better. This, this, uh, we, we like the idea of thirds. Um, uh, I'll maybe do uh, put a put a um, yeah, I'll put one of those in and, sh and, and show you that as well. Anyway, uh, thirds, thirds work much better. Vanishing point brings your eye into this area here. So perspective. Uh, what else? Light, light. So the Dutch masters like to bring the outside light inside they they will use internal lights as well but i'll show you how in a moment uh so i'm i've got the window in front of me you can see it reflecting in my glasses just there uh, but i've set the camera at a height whereby my eyes should level out and you won't get that reflection too much so you get some nice daylight there is no other light going on here apart from daylight and that light back there which is uh what we call an actual, it's an actual light. And the reason for that actual light is because it signifies illumination. So you go, oh, look, nice, a warm light in the background, very nice. Uh, the, the Dutch masters love to do that kind of thing. And also, you know how big roughly a light is, a lamp is, and therefore you've got something, a context to put me into. You know how big uh, portraits, uh, pictures would be, you know how big a book, normally is, cushions, a sofa, uh, a picture. So you've got an idea uh, to put me into context with. If you have no context at all, maybe I'll put that in as well. Uh, it's not that it's, it's a bad image per se. I mean, if you like uh, Le Corbusier, if you like modernism, um, postmodernism, then fantastic. The postmodernists are about um, being cold, and and they're actually about alienation <laughs> what we're trying to do here is actually connect with the audience not alienate so anything postmodern, like completely blank concrete backgrounds is is only enforcing the idea of alienation not connection from a from an artistic point of view um okay so light or oh, oh, kurioscuru as we might say uh, fancy term. Now, what else? Dutch masters. Oh, yeah, Dutch masters. What else do they love? They, they, they love bringing the mundane in. So, <laughs> it's a, it's a classic of Dutch masters. You know, put a jug in it. Um, I'm not saying put a, put a jug in it. That would be ridiculous. But the mundane can be brought in all the time and, and give us a simple idea of of everyday objects and also bring some sponsors in if you want to so that can be a great uh idea let's have one last thing which is the internal light um i've got another light over here which isn't doing much at the moment but it would do a lot more if i did what the dutch masters do which is bounce the light off of off of things i'm just going to even just hold this piece of card up here can you see the difference and if I take the card away, slight difference there. Let me see if I can bring the light over for you. Hang on there, so stay there. Uh, there we go, a, a, an actual, a practical light, brought up close, there it is. Now you've got some difference in, in, in color and shade and therefore form. And, and then uh, bring in something that bounce it off, a bit close in there, but you get the idea then you can light up the rest of your face. You don't put it there, you can stick it, a piece of card, stick it down below you at nut light. There you have it. Uh, 
final Dutch trick. If in doubt, get a, get a dog in it. Get a dog in it. If in doubt, just get a puppy, get a dog, anything. Put it in the picture. You know, and then you've got a... But they can't, that's irresistible, isn't it? Irresistible. Totally irresistible. That's the Dutch. If this is uh, useful, interesting for you, I'll do some more. Like we'll, we'll maybe even do uh, pop art as well. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, uh, little bit of pop art. What can that do for you? Let's uh, let's do. Uh, we won't be doing postmodernism as as I say. Uh, pop art. Let's do. Uh, oh, let's do Lautrec. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, anyway, hope that's interesting. See you around.